Hey there, Nick Jantakis here. In this video, we're going to go over a couple of different use cases and examples of using a command line tool called T. So T allows you to take the output of another program and it's going to redirect that output to a file as well as mirror that output to standard out. It's pretty useful if you want to, let's say, print something to the terminal and also write a file or maybe copy something to a clipboard, etc., etc. But uh, let's go over a couple of basic examples first and then we'll drop into some more real world use cases after that. So let's say we do echo hello world here. You know, that's only going to produce a uh, hello world here as output. That's what echo does. But if we pipe that into T and then we want to output a file called message.txt, we can still see that we're getting the same hello world output here, right? That's the standard out of echo, which is being piped into T. T is now basically mirroring or forwarding that standard out, which we see here. But also we have a new file here that was created called message.txt. And if we cut that out, then we get the same exact output as we saw here in the terminal because T is basically acting like one of those, I don't know, um, pipe joint type of things where you're kind of allowing liquid or water or whatever to flow to two different outputs at once, basically to standard out and to a file. And uh, you can also rerun this command here t with a dash a flag and that is going to append to the file append to the file append to the file so if we were to cut this out then we would see a couple of different hello worlds here you know we had the first one when we didn't use append and then three more here with append so you know that's very similar to i don't know if you were to echo one two three to like you know a new file or something like that you know we we'd have a new file called uh new file here, but you know, we didn't get anything uh, sent to standard out here because we weren't using T. But if you wanted to append to this file here with, you know, double greater than's there, you know, that's going to append to the file a couple of times here, just like uh, what T is doing with dash A. So that's how basically those things line up. Now we're going to get into more real world use cases in a second here. But you know, let's go over one more example here, like the basics of using T where, you know, you might have something like hello world, you know, pipeline into T. And uh, T can actually output to multiple files at once. For example, you know, let's say you want to output to three different files. We'll just name them one, two, three. It doesn't really matter what they are. They could be named, you know, ABC instead like this. And if we were to look at the directory structure now, you know, we have three brand new files called ABC. And if we cut out all three of those files at once, you'll notice that we have hello world in each of those files. Just to be more clear, like there's the one for A, there's the one for B, there's the one for C. But when we ran the command, we only had the single output here for hello world. Okay, so you might be thinking, cool, that's cool. Like, when am I ever going to use this ever? And uh, I don't know, you probably have seen this trick or uh, maybe you Googled around for this use case of, you know, maybe you're on the command line and you want to write to a config file in like, I don't know, at, you know, Etsy, that example.conf or something like that. And you need to do this as the root user. And uh, maybe you're not logged in as the root user and you're logged in as something like the Nick user or something like that. And uh, if you wanted to maybe append to that file and you did something like, okay, like whatever, and then you try to write out to the Etsy dot, uh, whatever I said here, like example.conf, and maybe you thought like, okay, cool, like I can probably do that, right? And it's like, no, not quite, because you know, to write to the Etsy directory, you need to have uh, root access or basically be the root user. So you might think like, well, okay, cool, like I'll just like sudo echo, you know, okay, and then redirect that to that file. And then it's like, nope, that's also not going to work because uh, this file redirect is not happening as a root user. It's happening as the Nick user or whatever user that you have. And, uh, you know, this is where something like using uh, T is very nice because you can do echo hello or echo okay, whatever. And then we can say like, okay, cool, let's pipe it to T. But this time we're actually going to use sudo for T and then do example.conf here. And uh, this is going to work. We can see we get our output from that. And if I go and cut out uh, at T example.conf, then we do have that file right there that was created on disk. You know, we can stat this file out and we can see that it is owned by the root user here. You know, it was able to be written to, et cetera, et cetera. So let me actually remove that file here. There we go. Okay, cool. So now that is, uh, yeah, one potential use case of when you might want to do this. You know, realistically, uh, you're probably not echoing to a file, but you know, you can always use t-a to maybe append to a config file. Um, maybe you're doing some type of finding and replace with set or something like that, and you just want to write out a new config file or modify an existing config file for something. You know, I, I have found myself doing that from time to time. Um, it's pretty useful. But another use case, uh, and actually this is what provoked me to make the video here, is I wanted to write a little shell script that not only produced something to standard out when I echoed it, but I also wanted it to be copied to my clipboard. And uh, I don't know, like the TLDR of this script is, yeah, it just basically creates a very long query, um, just taking some data as input from my clipboard. Basically, I'm copying a column from Excel, not super important, I'm running a shell script that's going to manipulate uh, that column of data, and then it is going to actually write to my clipboard some just long query that I don't then go and paste into another GUI tool. You know, super, you know, I don't need to get into details of that script. It was for some client work stuff. But yeah, it's one of those things where like it saved, I don't know, about 30 minutes of a daily task and down to three minutes just from doing this. 
and uh, along with an Excel VLOOKUP, maybe I'll do some videos about that in the future. But yeah, like long story short, what this translates down to is, you know, I was able to use T in such a way where like, you know, imagine this is like some long query that was assembled by the shell script, right? Um, what I wanted to do now was like echo that to the screen just like this, but also copy this to my clipboard at the same exact time. So what you could do here is, you know, you can just use T here. And uh, in this case though, well, this is on a company issued MacBook. So there's a, a tool called PB copy and PB paste that you can use in Mac OS to basically, you know, interact with the clipboard. But if you're using native Linux or WSL2 like this, then uh, PB copy is not going to be something that's installed by default. You know, maybe there's uh, Ubuntu or Debian packages that do something very similar, but you can do XClip here and uh, you can't just run it like this though. You need to basically turn this into uh, some type of file as uh, the recipient. So what you could do is just open up a subshell here or uh, process substitution, I should say. And yeah, once we do that, we can see that, uh, you know, we echoed the word query here. We are piping that into T and we're telling T to basically uh, also put that output on the clipboard. And uh, you can't see this here, but you know, if I do control shift V in my terminal, um, WSL or Microsoft terminal here, you know, it actually pasted it there. And uh, also maybe to be a little bit more clear, you know, if I open up Vim and just paste that in, paste that in, paste it in, like, yeah, it was written to uh, my clipboard there. So it's pretty neat, neat little trick, right? Where um, in this case, I wanted to see it being output to the terminal because I just wanted to visually see the thing before I was pasting it to make sure it's right. So it was just, you know, eliminating one step there. Now you could say like, well, you know, there's a lot of other ways to do this potentially. Like, yeah, I could have done this a couple of different ways, but you know, now that I've, I've got this little script set up to where, you know, I can just run my example script like this. I don't need to pipe it into anything. Everything just works. Like it takes uh, stuff from my clipboard, produces new clipboard, clipboard for me to paste into the GUI tool all in one command. Like it takes five seconds to run it. And then, you know, I do some pasting and that's it. But anyways, yeah. Um, let me know in the comments below. Like when was the last time that you used the T command to solve a very specific problem? Because for me, you know, it doesn't come up all the time, but it feels like the perfect tool for when you want to do something like, you know, print something to uh, the terminal and then also write to a file or in this case, a clipboard or something like that. So yeah, let me know in the comments below what you're up to using this command. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up because it really does help a lot. Thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next video.